Utah Grizzlies have a stretch of three games in four days. They take on the Idaho Steelheads at Maverick Center on Wednesday night, and then they travel to Boise for games Friday and Saturday at Central Link Arena in Boise, Idaho, against the Idaho Steelheads. Grizzlies have had good success against Idaho as they have won three of their last four meetings between the two teams. Last time the Grizzlies met the Idaho Steelheads, they won a two-game set here at Maverick Center, where on December 29th, the Grizzlies won 6-3, and then on December 30th, they won 5-4 in a shootout with Charlie Grasscamp scoring two goals. Brian Walter is getting the shootout game winner. Power plays will be huge. Uh, you know, I think we played pretty good on our power play. So capitalizing there is huge. Uh, you know, and just sticking to the game plan. You know, Tim has uh, three keys to success, and you know, sticking to those, uh, you know, will help secure those two points per game. Idaho, yeah, they're they're a good team. Um, you know, they're always they're always built the same. Um, you know, we play the same system, so I mean, it's uh, there's never any secrets uh, when we go play each other. So. Um, you know, they're, they're always a tough point. They've always got good goaltending, good defense, and their guys can put the puck in the net. So, um, you know, we play a real structured game. We're not losing in the lineup. So, yeah, I mean, we've, been, um, we've got a tall task ahead of us, but um, we've done well against Idaho this year. And Last Saturday, the Grizzlies played in front of a sellout crowd here at Maverick Center of 10,649 as they took on the Tulsa Oilers. The crowd is unbelievable. Uh, the support that uh, this community gives our team is just tremendous. Um, you know, it makes this building a tough place to come and play. So, um, you know, I know I know our boys uh, feed off that energy, and um, you know, it's just a just a great place to be. And um, you know, this this Maverick Center when it gets when it gets full, uh, it just gets rocking. And uh, definitely, uh, major thanks to our, to our community. Yeah, that's great. It's too bad uh, we couldn't capitalize on uh, Saturday's game, but. Uh, we got a big week ahead of us, and hopefully we can come out strong and get the well-needed points we uh, need this week. One player is looking good for the Grizzlies is John Pushkar scored a goal in four of his last five games. He's a great goal scorer right in front of the net. He gets the dirty balls, and you know, just like Saturday's or Saturday's game, you know, he had that fancy one right before the side. So I mean, he's great in front of the net, and he's a great guy to have. You know, put pucks in the net, and you know, hopefully go in. He's a really good net front presence. Uh, he has a knack for scoring goals, and um, so you know when he does go to those dirty areas, um, he gets chances, and when he gets chances, he's going to be the very so. The Utah Grizzlies have a three-game and four-day stretch against the Idaho Steelheads. Wednesday's game is going to be at the Maverick Center, which means it's a Wild Wednesday, which means you get a free refill of 44-ounce soft drink and popcorn. Friday and Saturday's games are going to be in CenturyLink Arena in Boise, Idaho. You can catch Wednesday and Saturday's games on ESPN 700. Friday's game is going to be on Utah's Classic Country AM 1370. It's the Grizzlies and the Idaho Steelheads.